what will happen if we post a YouTube video every day for 90 days to our Kingpinning channel? This is exactly what I want to find out over the next three months. Now, Kingpinning is a brand that I started about 10 years ago, and it was really been just a side project where I was sharing the business models and the, the, the strategies that I was using to have success with e-commerce and print on demand a decade ago to really build a solid social following. Now, for the first year and a half or two years of Kingpinning, I had a regular content schedule. I would post regularly to YouTube. I would then create an article and post that to my blog with SEO keywords. And then we'd post on social media to broadcast and build that group, mostly Facebook when I built a Facebook fan group, which has around 40,000 followers. Now, after that first two years, I haven't posted to this group on a consistent basis. I haven't built any brand and I haven't really done much to it. So I really wanna see what will happen if we post consistently with a solid content marketing plan to Kingpinning. Where can we actually lead this? Because I have many YouTube channels out there that I've done very little work on, but I have some good keyword videos in there. I have some consistency from back years ago that still generate revenue for me. Kingpinning alone, even as a side project that I've not been consistent with, it has generated definitely seven figures in revenue over the past decade from just various digital products or affiliate offers or whatever I can bring to the old list I built almost 10 years ago um, with this original content marketing. But today I wanna build this into a brand, a business that is actually running and producing without just needing me at every angle. Make it something that's actually a quality media company within this finance, make money online, business building type of world. And that's exactly what we're gonna do here in this 90 days of YouTube. Now our main focus will be YouTube because I find as one of the most powerful platforms out there for us to get started. Google's behind it, the SEO, the keywords, the audience attention you can generate, the ad revenue, the sponsorships, and with good marketing, good messaging, good funnels, you can create you know, an ever-ending income stream with targeted traffic out there as well. Plus, it works great on social media, which we're gonna utilize as well. We're not gonna only post on YouTube, but that is our main focus. That is our consistency. We're gonna look at everything we can do to consistently improve from just this basic start of, okay, we're going to post one video per day for 90 days, what are the results? But along with that, we wanna make sure that we get better and we improve every step we take. So even though we're gonna only do this consistent one thing, we wanna add on to that every day, every week, and really build a substantial content marketing business, an online business. It doesn't matter if you're e-commerce, print on demand, you're trying to be an influencer, you have a mom and pop shop, you're a charity. It all comes down to content marketing today. We are all media companies and you have to follow three specific rules when it comes to creating content if that's social media or email or even with your advertising. The three rules, and we'll do them in order of importance. Number one, most important rule is you need consistency. If you are not posting content regularly or posting ads regularly, then you are not going to have the best results. You're going to get left behind, competitors are gonna outdo you, and your ads and your content, it's all gonna get stale and it's not gonna really produce the results. So you have to be consistent with what you are creating. Now number two, you have to have quality with this consistency. Okay, every post you create, it doesn't have to be the greatest thing in the world, but it has to have some sort of quality out there. And that doesn't mean we need aesthetics and we need the, the high production value. As I'm trying to show you here in day one, we're taking one step forward. So we're recording day one video right on my iPhone with nothing more, no equipment. Even though I have a lot of equipment sitting right around me, I could do to make a higher production video. We're just gonna start day one. We're getting that video out there. Tomorrow, we add something new. We take a step forward, something improved upon what we've done. And over 90 days, we'll see what that kind of result that can bring to us. Number three comes down to how specific you are. You wanna have that consistency, quality every time, and you wanna know who you're talking to. What is the niche? What is the problem you're fixing? What are you trying to achieve with your content? The more dialed in that is, the more you know the audience you're looking to kind of gain attention from, the more you can make your, your content, your funnels, everything work for you. So you follow those three rules and your content marketing plan is going to have great results for you. And we're gonna try and show that here over the next 90 days. 
taking kingpinning and turning it into a digital business that we can create, maybe sell some affiliate products, we can sell events, we can sell consulting, we can sell our own products, physical products, merchandise. It really depends on which way you wanna go. The options are endless and that's exactly what we're gonna to be touching on throughout this entire series. So guys, hopefully you enjoy this one. If you want to follow along, go ahead and hit subscribe, like this video, it helps with the whole algorithm, and it'll make sure that you see the next parts of the video. Now I'm gonna post every day for 90 days on YouTube here. Not every video I post will be about the 90 days of YouTube, but I will have uh, periodic check-ins like once a week or twice a month or something talking about the different pieces that we add on I have a whole list of things I want to do and pretty much just kind of building on this consistent content marketing plan because no matter what type of business you have today or how you're trying to get your message out there it all comes down to audience attention that is what we're looking to do when it comes to our content marketing our online funnels we're garnering that and gaining that that attention so that we can direct that influence whichever way we want we don't want to just get stuck and quartered into one place we have audience attention across the board so guys hopefully you enjoy this i will see you guys in the next one once again hit that subscribe button i'll talk to you later